Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you uh, another video. Uh, this is actually uh, kind of a different one. I don't usually do these. I've done one in the past about comic book discussions, but um, obviously I, I am a big reader of the Walking Dead comic. I do enjoy it thoroughly, uh, but I basically wanted to talk about what I think Negan is going to do next in the um, comic book series. Uh, if you do want any more videos like this, please tell me. I do apologise. I'm going to be stuttering a little bit because I do. Um, I, it's hard for me to do videos without stuttering. I, I tend, I don't really have much time at the minute, and of course, it takes a long time for me to actually, you know, s I don't like to script the videos either, uh, fully, because if I script the videos completely fully, it just sounds like I'm a robot. Or personally, I don't like it. I, I prefer it, you know, just having bullet points instead, uh, and then I can just kind of go off that, so it doesn't sound like I'm, I'm, you know, s scripted. Um, so. So this video basically is explaining what I think Negan is going to do now that he has met the Whisperers and he has, um, you know, got his knife and stuff, and he's with uh, Beta right now, isn't he? Uh, or Beta? I'm going to say I'm going to call him Beta. Okay, okay, that's how I pronounce it. But um, yeah, now he's with Beta. So um, now Beta is this big ass guy, and it's kind of hard to, for me to believe anyway that he's he's not in charge, and Alpha is. But maybe, I, I feel like he's maybe a bit dumb in the head or something, or possibly, he could be maybe a relative, but I feel like he's, he is generally just maybe a thick or something, and that's why um, Alpha is uh, in charge. Possibly as well, maybe he was a bit ruthless as a leader, maybe he um, previously was, was the leader, and maybe he kind of screwed things up, and... Because he looks like a brute, but I feel like Alpha is a bit more smarter. So maybe he would have agreed for Alpha to be in charge, uh, or maybe we've just been misguided. You know? Maybe maybe they're sort of both equals. But the whole Alpha and Beta, it it does obviously they are in the animal kingdom. Um, their terms used in the animal kingdom. And the Alpha is always in, on top, and the Beta is like the second in command. And then you have, which is kind of ironic, because Alpha is um, Alpha is a female. <laughs> And uh, usually an alpha would be a male, obviously. But anyway, moving on. What do I think Negan is going to be doing now? So, he's met, he's met up with the Whisperers. I feel like what's going to happen with him is he wants to he wants to kill Rick, right? He, well, I don't think he wants to kill Rick, but he wants to... He wants to he wants to his his power back. I feel like Negan is a, is a character that, that really loves power. And um, that's the prob... That's kind of where... What he wants to achieve in, in, in his life at this point. He wants to be in charge. He wants people to look up to him, and that's what why he created the the, um, the sanctuary, and that's why he you know banded together the saviors, and that's even that's uh, in going further on. That's why he uh, did the whole community barter thing with um, taking you know half their stuff. It's because he wants to be in power. He wants to be in charge. He wants to be the king, so to speak. And the next issue is it the next issue. I don't know. But there's an issue coming up called King and Queen. Um, this could be referring to Beta and Alpha. I feel like it might be referring to um, Negan and Alpha. Now, what I do like about um, the whole Walking Dead storyline, or at least what I feel like is going to happen anyway. Sorry, uh, in um, going forward, is I feel like Negan is going to play this game like chess. Okay. He is not going to stick with the Whisperers, not for very long. And the one reason I think that he will not stick with the Whisperers is the rape. Um, we know that the Whisperers, especially with through Lydia, we know that the Whisperers are rapists. They, The women in their group, apart from Alpha, I guess, but the women in their group, even Alpha's own daughter, uh, are actually you know, sexually assaulted um, throughout you know, their travelling. And Negan does not like rape. He is not a fan of rape. We've seen what he's done to a rapist before, or attempted rapist anyway. He's burnt his face. Um, he he doesn't. Oh no, he kills him, doesn't he? I'm um, sorry, he doesn't burn his face. He kills him. Um, he does not like sexual violence. He doesn't like violence against women. Although he had his wives, he never actually forced himself upon them. You know, them doing. You know, them obviously having sex with him. That was completely consent. Uh, you know, that that was consensual. Is that word? I don't know. But um, anyway, what I feel like Megan's going to do is he's going to play that like chess, like I'm saying. So he's going to use Alpha to his advantage. Now, he doesn't want to kill the community, so he doesn't want to do that. What I feel like he's going to do, though, is first of all, he's not going to kill them all. But I feel like he'll use Alpha. He'll tell her about, the obviously, the plan that's going to happen with Rick raising an army. And they'll use that to his advantage. The first thing I think that's going to happen is Negan's going to get Alpha to attack the Sanctuary. And uh, I feel like he'll do this. Um, two reasons, really. One, it's not really the most important one in in the whole four communities. 
I feel like it's the least important one out of all out of all four. Um, and two, he wants revenge against his men. His his men stood down. His men betrayed him. Um, and that's kind of why... And there's actually a third reason. The third reason is there's no major characters there. So I feel like Negan is going to plow through there. He's going to kill every single one of them. He's going to wipe out the community. He doesn't want those people anymore. And some people think, well, maybe Negan will go to the sanctuary and win over his men. His men hate him. What the, the moment that Negan stepped down from power and Rick stepped up and Dwight obviously took over them, the, the, the saviors were happy with that. And none of them, we, you know, it's been a whole two years and none, none of them have tried to free Negan. None of them have stood up in, like, in the name of Negan. So why the hell, after two years, they would join Negan is beyond me. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. So I feel like he, and Negan knows that. Negan's smart. He's going to go through the sanctuary. He's going to kill every single one of those people. They're all going to be dead. Um, or at least maybe some of them escape. I don't know. But I feel like he probably won't. He'll, they're going to bring a big herd. And I feel like the, the Whispers will bring that big herd that we saw. That they showed Rick. Well, Alpha showed Rick. That big herd's going to go through there. It's going to kill them all. You know, they might kill a few Whispers off. But I think ultimately all the sanctuary is going to be completely wiped out. And then Negan will go for the kingdom. Now, I feel like Michonne probably... I know Michonne's in a bit of bother now. M Michonne's going to get out of that. Do I think Aaron's alive? I honestly think Aaron's probably going to die at this point. <sighs> From what I can see. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's going to be patched up. I feel like Aaron's dead. <laughs> but, um, you know, you might have read that differently. Uh, maybe he is alive. I kind of, in a way, I'd prefer if he died because it would be pretty cool to see. Another, you know, he's quite a big character, actually, at this point. So, it would be cool to see a big character death like that. But we'll have to see what they do. Um... Michonne's probably going to go back to the back to the kingdom. She's going to start to rule it for a bit, uh, just for a little bit, <laughs> and that's when Negan's going to come through. Uh, I feel like Michonne will probably she'll probably flee from the from the place and she'll go straight to Alexandria. And uh, yeah, I feel like the um, the kingdom it's going to be completely destroyed as well. I feel like the king it's going to be completely trashed to the point where they can't actually. Maybe they can reclaim it. I don't know. Probably they, they probably could. And then Negan and the Whisperers are going to go for. Um, uh, they're going to go for the hilltop after that. Now, obviously, Carl's here, Lydia's here, Maggie's here. Um, i trying to think who else is there. Uh, there's some other characters, obviously. You have Jesus there, Paul Monroe's there. Uh, we have, I was going to say Gregory, but he's dead. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's quite a few characters there. They're not major characters, but what I feel like is going to happen is they're going to go through there. Rick, at this point, is going to realise he's going to pull his army upwards. They're going to march to the hilltop to try and save them. Uh, we'll probably have some sort of like um, signal to try and... There'll be someone who will warn the hilltop. The hilltop will be prepared. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so Rick will... Um, Rick and his army will go up. Uh, and there'll probably be a bit of a skirmish where they'll have to flee it. But Negan kind of tells them not to destroy the hilltop fully. Because they need the hilltop. They need the crops. They need... You know, it's a farming community. It's really vital. So Negan tells them to not destroy that yet. Because they'll need that to their advantage. So Alpha's troops will go back. They'll give Rick another warning. They'll probably put some more heads on spikes. That, that would work. And what I feel is going to happen here is Negan's going to know... For a fact that... He's... You know, he can't just kill them all. He can't kill everyone. So what I feel like is going to happen is they'll go back to the hilltop. They'll try and reclaim it. They'll fill back the walls that have been knocked down. They'll um, they'll kind of you know. Ma I feel like Maggie's going to be safe. I feel like maybe Bri is it Bria? Is it uh, Brianna? Brianna, um, Maggie's friend. I feel like she'll die. <laughs> uh, maybe this is just a massive prediction, by the way. Uh, this maybe maybe Jesus. I mean maybe, but don't I don't really I didn't wouldn't really prefer that. I feel like Carl and Lydia will be pretty safe anyway. And what Negan will do. Is he he doesn't like like I said he doesn't like the whispers he doesn't he's not gonna want to stay with stay with them for long he doesn't want them as a group or at least I don't think he will anyway just because of the rape thing mainly and also because he kind of wants to be in control of something else what I feel he's gonna do is when he's obviously private maybe he's maybe he's gonna be a love interest for Alpha maybe but um Negan's gonna sit back throughout this whole thing but when him and Alpha are together he's gonna sort of basically get her into a private 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 spot. And he's just going to kill her. He's going to kill her. He's going to behead her. And he's going to bring her head. And he's going to go back to Alexandria. And he'll go to Alexandria. He'll sit in the middle of Alexandria. He'll pull up the head. And he'll show the people the head. And he'll be like, I've killed her. I I am the one who's killed her. I have um, I know about the Whisper Space. I know all their tactics. I know all their strategics. I know all their places. I know who they are. How many there are. You know, 
the weapons they've got. He's going to have all these details, and he's just going to tell them all that. And at this point, Rick's going to be like, well, shit, we can't imprison this guy anymore. He's an advantage to us. Um, we need his skills. And he's not going to really negotiate if he's in prison. So people are going to look up to Negan for this information. And Negan's going to tell them where it is. You know, he's got Alpha's head. Alpha's dead. She's done for. Um, they're going to go for Beta. They're going to go for all the other Whisperers. They're going to probably wipe out the majority of them. And Negan's going to seize power. The only problem I have with this theory is, um, it's kind of a theory I've sort of thought of. It's, it's not completely me. I've just I've taken little things offline and I've kind of merged them together as one big theory. Um, what I do think is going to happen though, I don't. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not sure about what's going to happen with Lydia. That's the only problem I've got with this whole theory. Is for me, I, I'm I'm not really sure what what's the sort of point of Lydia's character at this at this point in the story. I'm not though I don't you know, I know she was a love interest for Carl, but I don't know where she's gonna go from here. Um so I don't know if she's gonna die. I feel like maybe she might attack Negan or something because that she's killed her mother. I'm not really sure about the whole Lydia thing, so I've kinda of put that to a side. But that's what I feel is gonna happen. I feel like Negan is gonna kill Alpha just to prove a point to take over. He's gonna take over for a bit and Rick's gonna have to step down and that's how Negan will seize power again. Um I don't know what's gonna happen post that. It's just a massive theory I've kind of come up with. It's, you know, how likely do I think it is? I honestly think it's pretty likely. Negan's, I don't, I really, I, I don't stress, I, I, you know, I've kind of stressed this enough, but I really do not think that Negan is going to stick with the Whisperers. They are rapists, and that's why. Um, also, they are pretty brutal. They are disgusting. You know, they don't live a human life. And Negan does live a human life, at least in the post out all that war. He lives a pretty human life, you know, with ping pong and stuff. Uh, I just I just don't see him sticking with them for very long, and I do see him killing Alpha. But anyway, that's my massive theory. Uh, sorry for a tad bit of rambling. I've tried to kind of put my points across as best as I can. I just want to explain them as much as I can so you understand. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.